How are you getting over that fence? Do you not care about cutting yourselves? You're, you're just fucking flying over the, the fence, never mind. You, my friend, are using hacks, that's what you're doing. Welcome back, everybody, to you. Falcon Play's State of Decay Breakdown, Year One Edition. You know the routine at this point. Um, before we get underway over here, let me just um, bring something to an attention. Um, this is going to be a new day of recording. What that means for me normally is that I, I finally found some time, whether I'm off of work or just maybe if I'm not too tired after work, I could actually record a couple of episodes. I don't do this full time. I do this as a hobby strictly. So I kind of have to find time here and there to record episodes for the channel. What that means for us, though, is that whenever I finally get some free time, I will sit down and I will try to record like four or five episodes in one go. If you're leaving tips for a particular episode, and then the next episode or two show up, and I haven't necessarily done what you've been suggesting, it's not that I'm not reading the comments or I don't want to listen, because obviously I do, but it's because I haven't recorded a new batch of videos just yet. Therefore, even though your tips are in the comments, I could read them, but I can't necessarily implement them into the next batch of recordings. I have a lot to talk about in terms of all the advice you guys have been giving me. Some stuff I want to show off here today as well if I get the chance. But I don't think we have, um, since we just got Anna, she's not leveled up. So we have to start leveling her up to begin with. But the thing is, I know about some new combat abilities thanks to your advice as well. And we'll cover that here pretty soon. Let me leave that. I'll take the hatchet. I'll take that. You guys have been telling me Falcon carry a lot more snacks because stamina has been really a big problem for you. And you know what? You're right. It really has been. So... Um, Alright, so we got Twinkies over here, we got a hatchet, we got this, we got something to heal ourselves, and two Twinkies as a matter of fact. I think that should be just about fine. I really need to find some bigger bags though, that's going to be a big problem going forward. Oh, and before we leave... No, no, not yet. Not yet. I was going to say, let's recruit somebody, but what I want to do here today, the first thing I want to do is people have been telling me to go to the signal because it's not a big quest, it's more of a DLC type of, like, um, reward almost, so... It's going to actually give me some items just about for free, it does seem. So I guess we'll check out that signal here today. And we will take our truck for that. My, people told me take a truck, however, for it because I was going to get kind of crazy on you. So I'm not sure what you guys meant by that. But I'll follow your advice. So here is where the signal is at, right? Okay. Now, in terms of tips, Falcon, you don't have to kill zombies by doing this with your door over and over. Just hold it open and close item, and that should be enough. Other tips were Falcon, um, you need... To not use your engine to run zombies over. I guess you could try running them over with the back of your car, and that'll actually make sure that you don't hurt your engine too much, which is actually a good thing. <laughs> that was good. So, um, and the other thing was, like, I should walk and run to places more often so I could build up my car to you. And I think that's actually one of the best advice you've given me because um, one of the things that we fail on a lot, it feels like it's cardio. We get tired really, really fast, and then suddenly every single zombie's on me just munching away on me, so we definitely want to make sure that our cardio is up. So I'm going to start trying to run and walk to places a lot more often, but for the DLC signal thing you guys told me about, I should bring a car, so that's the reason why I have a car here today. It's going to be down this side, right? Search the source of the signal. Alright. What is the signal about? I have no idea. Now, when it comes to combat abilities, I've been just, you know, you've you seen me. Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies here indeed. You've seen what I've been doing, which is just kind of like smash X to win, right? I have been told, Falcon, if you check out your abilities... Yo, Zambro, please. You're not supposed to get on top of the engine, okay? If you check out your abilities, Falcon, you will find out you could do more than just um, smash X to win. And you're right. I found out I could dropkick, and the dropkick is actually so good because it brings down Zambros, at least the, the common Zambros, brings them down really easily, enough to just have you run up to them and finish them off with a one hand or like the one shot kill. So, because of that, um, I need to level up Anna though, because I do believe you need... Are we done here? Zombie Horde killed. You. Okay, I do need to level up Anna, so let me fight this last zombie at least. But what I do, I, what I did find out is that you actually do need to level up your fighting ability a bit before you can actually drop kick. If I try to drop kick right now, she just jumps instead. But apparently, if um, I level her up, she'll learn how to drop kick, which is enough to bring a zombie down, and then you go over their body and you finish them off with a one hit kill. So, uh, again, thanks a lot for all your advice. It's been really helping out. There's a lot of dudes over there that are coming my way. Let's try to hurry this up, huh? Ooh, assault rifle. Ah, ah, where'd you come from? Ah! <laughs> oh, nice dodge. Alrighty, um, I have a gun equipped, which I don't really care too much about at the moment, but let me, um, you're gonna bring this door down, aren't you, you 
piece of work, you. Get off the car! Look, you need to get off the fucking car, okay? Well, I guess this will help me level a bit here with Anna. They're the easy zombies anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay. As long as I don't get hoarded by them, we should be okay. This is where, Falcon, you might want to use snacks to make sure your stamina doesn't go down. Good advice! Very nice advice. And until we level her up, we cannot do anything else other than just smash X for the most part. There we go. Level 2. No dropkick just yet, huh? Okay. That's my gun. I don't want to shoot anybody just yet. Let's finish off with what we're doing here, though. Alrighty. That was an impressive stroke of good fortune. Not sure what the hell we got here, but I gotta check it out back home. Right now we have a lot of zombies on my ass. So we have this crazy gun, we have some fucking grenades, and a Cleo Wrecker. It's a heavy weapon. Huh. That might be our first heavy weapon, at least that I've actually noticed. Now, heavy weapons, I heard, aren't are actually almost on par with the bladed ones. I mean, based on the comments I've read, obviously. But everybody has their own opinion about the certain weapons. Like, I've had a lot of people see in the comments be like, No, no, the, the blunt weapons are good, too. What I believe the blunt weapons are for is to bring down zombies faster, which means you'll be able to finish them off easier, while the bladed weapons are better for severing limbs, which makes sense, I guess. So they all have their own use. It's just um, a matter of preference, I suppose. Okay. Now, I don't mind killing these guys right now because we are leveling her up anyway. Machine... Ooh, you're a suppressor for the machine gun we got. More snacks, great. And a rucksack. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. Roger that. We'll so are we done with the signal thing or what? Don't know. Oop, no room for that, huh? Well, give me that. Put that in there. Is that uh, something I can investigate? I'm hearing reports about some trapped survivors. They need you to bail them out. So the zombies really like that beacon, huh? I hope whatever you found out there was worth the risk. What do you mean to like this beacon? What does that mean? A supply drop. Small backpack. Damn it! For a second there, you got me excited. I thought that was one of the big ones. Because we definitely need a lot of more bigger backpacks here. And we're loaded up. Alright, so let's just get on out of here. No zombies, no zombies, no zombies. Let me zoom out here. Stranger in trouble. Zombie infestation. Zed Huns. You guys told me that zombie infestations actually spread, so I should be taking care of those whenever I see them, because they will actually just spread and make life harder for me down the road. So, that's cool. Um, there's one more area here to check out. We might as well do that. Although we can't carry much anymore. What is this supposed to be? Is this, a, is this like one of those um, beehives? Stop it, Zambro. Don't attack that fence trying to fight me. You're too far, you idiot. Field fully searched. All right. We're done here. Let me go back home and drop some stuff off. Oh, and I found out how the repairing of cars actually works out. Now, we've been repairing our cars for free overnight because um, we have the upgrade for it. But I can actually, assuming I brought this car right now back, right, and I wanted to use it immediately without having to wait, there's a way to go into, like, the context menu on our journal system that lets them, that, you know, for a couple of materials, if I'm right, it lets you fix your car fast. So, I mean, if you're if you're willing to sacrifice the materials to fix a car immediately, you could do that as well. So, there's a lot of stuff in the menu that I really Heads haven't um, toyed around with too much, but I should at some point. There you go. Don't say I never gave you anything. Mm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. Oh, you know, stuff. Close this door. I've heard conflicting reports about the doors. People tell me they close automatically, some people tell me they don't. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. You guys, you guys got to get your story together here. Alrighty, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap over to Peyton for now. I'm going to bring Anna with me. And we're going to walk all the way to that area that we saw that I want to do those missions at. At least I'm going to try walking there, and if things get too dicey, we'll just run out and try to find a car along the way. But I feel like we should probably build our, build our cardio up here. So, Peyton, are you good to go? Do you have a big backpack? You have a big backpack. Good. Um, you have a couple of these flame ones. If we're walking, I think we should carry a few of those. And then... Snacks. That seems good. Should probably bring a backup weapon, though, just in case. Just in case. You never know. Because you never know. And if you don't... A sword. <laughs> a literal sword. Sure. We'll bring a literal fucking sword as well. Mm, okay. That's fine. Let me bring Anna along with me, wherever she might be. Anna? Anna? Don't tell me she ran off already. 
Anna, you better be here at home. She's at home. She's eagle-eyed, too, so she's deaf. Oh, she's over there sharpshooting, more than likely. That's something Anna would do. Well, if that is the case, um... Fine, fine, we'll bring fucking Dane. What's up? Alright, Dane. You and me are running the clock, buddy. Make me believe in you, Dane. We'll take a... Oh, actually, no, we're walking, right? <laughs> I'm so comfortable with, like, getting... You know what? Is that a good idea, though? Like, for real, why is this locked on my side of the, the house here? Is that a really good idea, though? Like, I understand walking if you're going nearby, but walking if you're going this fucking far? No, we can't walk that. That's fucking insane, Falcon. No. Hey, Dane, come over here. I'm gonna close those doors. All right, so let's go ahead and take um, this vehicle. Are you unloaded? Nope. You are semi-loaded. I'm gonna put this into the... The police car. Could leave a gun in there just in case, because you never know. Oh! Let's fucking swell. Alrighty, guys, so there's gonna be a little small cut here. I'm trying not to cut these like uh, you guys requested, but all I did was actually my cars over here were completely packed with items. So I went ahead and I just uh, moved everything from these vehicles inside to the supply locker. So we should be fine to go now. As I mentioned, we're not going to walk all the way over there. It's actually really crazy. So we're definitely driving out there. But I'll try to just run around and walk once we're up there because there's at least three missions out there we could actually undertake at the moment. So for now, we do our thing. Zombie horse spotted. It's not bad. If I hit him with the back of my car, it shouldn't hurt my engine and then just use the door. And we got the dealer unlocked. Okay, hey, we just unlocked another dude. Zed Hun Pharaoh? I just got a call from a survivor. They really sound like they know what they're doing. Oh, it's a hero. You wanna go bring them in? Where? We can use another good person around here. Where? A hero's been sighted. I mean, cause the first one we got was fucking the priest, and he can't even find it seems, but Escort, he's right here actually. Hey, cool. Okay, sure, why not? I mean we're on the way up here anyway. He's in there, fighting it out. Let's... How do I get in there? Friend. How do I enter this establishment that you're at? I'll be there soon, I'll be there soon. Don't die on me. There we go. It's open. I got you, I got you. Leave him alone, Zambros. He's a hero. He's a friend. He's a friend of a friend. Yeah. Who next? You next? Oh, you ain't next, my friend. You dead. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk to you soon. I guess there's one more zombie here we should take care of. Hey. How are you getting over that fence? Do you not care about cutting yourselves? You're, you're just fucking flying over the, the fence. Never mind. You, my friend, are using hacks. That's what you're doing. Okay, where's this guy at? Here he is. Excuse me. Fella. How you doing? Who are you? What do you think? Ray Santos, join us. We'll follow. I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. Do, you don't want to do what? Zombies on our sticks. Stay alert. Why don't you want to bring him along? Is Ray Santos a bad guy? Um, where's homeboy at? Oh, Dane left or what? Dane? Dane? I guess Dane doesn't care. Can we get this guy from ruining my fucking door? He's ruining the door! There we got him. Okay. So I gotta take this guy home. Yeah, Dane's leaving. God damn it, I just invested a hundred influence on Dane and he just fucking booked it initially. I hate that so much, man. Alright, Falcon, remember, you can only carry one person at a time, so I'm gonna recruit somebody and make sure nobody's with you. Okay. Okay. More lessons to be learned the hard way here. I still think it's silly that Dane doesn't even fucking want to ride back home, though. Like, you know, come on, Dane. Like, for real, dog? Like, for real, just hang out. It doesn't like Santos or something. It's like, fuck that Ray Santos guy. Zombie horde killed. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. Now, right, let's find out about this Ray Santos if we get him home here. Mm, down here. Alrighty. There you go, my friend. I guess I don't have to properly park or anything. Come on, Santos. Here we are. Okay, that's all we need. Is it though? 
Now let's find out about this guy. I have a lot of influence now. Pretty good. Uh, issue with fear. New faces. Let's find out about this guy. Alrighty. Ray Santos. Attitude is relaxed. Golf club. Revolver. Gossip. Love books. Vehicle delivery. Loved movies. Tough as... <gasps> He's tough as nails. You guys told me about this. Look at his shooting. I'm not sure what Gossip does, but look at his shooting and his revolvers are redonkulous. <gasps> and you guys told me Tough as Nails gives you more HP if I'm right? Okay. I think we found one of our permanent members easily. So is this guy like really useless to father or what? I like his skills were... For you. If you check it out, it's on your map. Yeah, like look, he's supposed to be a hero, but like counseling and literature I guess is kind of high, but it's not even maxed out. Ray Santos came over here with like, you know, the biggest penis of all time apparently. Jeez. Well, there you guys have it. Ray Santos. Ray Santos, everybody! Um, okay. What I'm gonna do, though, is, um... Is Dane still on the road? <laughs> Probably is. Let me bring Aaron with me, then. Dogs up. Yeah, Let's go, Aaron. It was supposed to be Dane, but... Oh, well. Oh, we have a... Fear thing with homeboy here. No, no, I know what's gonna happen. I talk to him. We lose the services of this guy for a while. I sacrifice another hundred influence for no reason. No, no, no. You're not gonna get me again. Get me again, game. So long. I just wanna. I just wanna close the door. Okay. Um. I guess we'll take you. Yo, get in the car. Get in the car. In the fucking car. I'm not. I don't care if it's the passenger or the back. Just get in the car. Okay, good. Let's see. We'll deal with that fear thing with um the pastor down the line. Right now, I want to get up there at the very least. <sighs> like, it feels like we've done a lot this episode, but it's all been around the same area, so it feels like I really haven't done too much. But <laughs> this game is like everything just something pops up when you have like another... Oh, no, that's not true. We did the signal. We got the signal done with. We got Ray as well. Pretty I mean... much Fort Knox. Bring on the zombies. Nice. I like the idea that my place is safe. Um, okay, so we have a lot of stuff to do up here. Is that Hanfero? What is this? Home? Oh, we need materials for the home for an upgrade. I hope uh, don't regret that missed opportunity. Edgar survived. Is that where we're headed to right now? Oh, yeah, we lost one of the things we're headed to. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I was going there. I tried to get in there beforehand, but you saw all the goddamn missions that kept on popping up. You saw that was out of my control. I could only control so much. Yeah, this would have been a fucking terrible idea for a walk, man. This is just too much. Oh boy. Absolutely not. I feel like I'm driving like, um, this feels like the area in Grand Theft Auto, um, San Andreas, when you're kind of like, I guess, doing missions for Mike Torino, when you're doing the... What mission is it? Oh, when you're doing the, the flight school. This area reminds me a lot of that. So this is kind of like a neat little town for us. I haven't been up here at all, I don't think. I like it. I like coming to new places. Alright, so over here is where we probably want to start doing some walking. And some running for the cardio. So let's undertake a mission here first. We know there's two of them here. We'll start off with the top one. Oh, good, a cemetery! That's um, not a good place, I'm going to say, for zombies, huh? And that's an entry right here. Let's go. Let's go. Start leveling up a bit more, man. Yeah. Maybe later. Alrighty, what do we have here? What's going on, guys? You here to help? Jackson Luthor. I'm gonna lose um Aaron, aren't I? Of course I would. Let's clear these bastards out. You coming? Let's go. Yep, there goes Aaron. Another influence thrown away. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate that. Ah, whatever, I get influenced so easily anyway. But it is kind of annoying, I will admit. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. So you want me to come up here? Oh, and it's infestation. Okay. Okay. You know what? Let's um get my... Let me get a snack happening. And let me also get a firebomb ready, just in case. Now I know how to aim. You guys told me about the aiming system, too. Where do these guys go? Where the fuck are these guys going? 
What? What is this? What just happened here? Hello? Who who was downed? Oh, Aaron was down. Aaron, dog, get home in one piece, preferably. My weapon's about to break. Okay, I I'm confused right now. These guys just fucking ran off who knows where, and it's telling me about this location, maybe? You can press a lot of people around here. So, you know, if you wanted to claim dibs on some of the better gear, I don't think anybody'd mind. They're done? They... I helped them? How did I help them? Oh, wait. The zombies that I killed before talking to them, was that what I had to kill for that mission? That's the only thing that makes sense to me right now. Neighbors discovered. Alright, so this is their house. Okay. Outsiders, how you guys doing? Hey babe, don't you hey babe me? Who's Damien? Don't you hey babe me? Where is he at? Oh, you. Hey babe. <laughs> I'm not your babe, dog, alright? I'm fucking Peyton. I'm an alcoholic, and I don't take kindly to you calling me babe. Well, I guess we did this mission somehow. I just decided to come up here, and I killed the zombies before we even initiated the mission. That's what happened. All right, we're going to wrap it up here for this episode, guys. I'm as confused as you probably are as well, but I guess we got it done. I hope Aaron makes it home in one piece, because that was kind of scary. I will catch you guys next time.